It was a hot Wednesday afternoon in August. My brother, two sisters, and I were playing in our bedrooms while my parents were sitting on the living room couch watching something on TV. Out of nowhere, with a sense of urgency, my mother called the four of us to come quickly to see what they were watching. We all ran in, not quite knowing what to expect. When we got there, my parents told us to sit down and watch because, as they said, history was being made. I remember watching and wondering why so many people were all standing in the hot sun listening to a man give a speech. My then six years old mind was not actually taking in what he was saying, but what I was taking in was my parents' reactions to his words. Both were silent. Both were clearly moved by this man's speech. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. We will mark the 60th year anniversary of this history-making event on August 28th for it was in 1963 at the March on Washington where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. seized the American imagination with his dream for this nation, with his dream for its people, with his dream for a beloved community. Before his death in 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. remarked that while the nation had come a long, long way in its quest for the beloved community of his dream, it still, he said, had a long, long way to go. To be sure, this nation has come a long, long way. And then there is the matter of health care of all the forms of inequality, injustice in healthcare is the most shocking and inhuman because it often results in physical death, said Martin Luther King Jr. in 1966. And so, perhaps just as significant as all of the various gains for civil rights was the healthcare reform that emerged from the civil rights movement as people have come to recognize that health care is not simply a civil right, it is a human right. Yes, yes indeed, we have come a long, long way since Dr. King shared his dream some 60 years ago. Yet, yet, we truly still have a long, long, way to go to make that dream a reality. And there has been nothing that has made that fact more clear than the convergence of the two pandemics, that of COVID-19 and white supremacy, which given the comorbidities such as poverty with its concomitant realities of inadequate housing, inadequate employment, inadequate educational and health care opportunities have left black and Latinx communities disproportionately vulnerable to the ravages of COVID-19 itself. And so here we are. Here we are, 60 years after that history-making day in 1963, 60 years later with black people protesting for black lives to matter as the civil rights, voting rights, and even human rights that King fought for and dreamed of appear more fleeting and fragile than ever. And so what are we to say? Where are we to find that, that light of hope that is King's dream? My friends, that light of hope is to be found in the resolve and in the resistance to make that dream a reality. 
perhaps our children and their children and their children's children will know a future where dreams of justice do come true. A future of a beloved community where all who were created will be treated as the sacred human beings that they are. May it be so.